Welcome to another episode of Shipper War. There's so much to talk about, so I want to do this real quick and real fast. Shipper War. When ship happens, I'm there. First up, Green Lantern. Green Lantern promos came out of Hal and Carla, played by Ryan Reynolds as Hal. Carla is played by Blake Lively. Also, there's an interview with Blake Lively where she talks about the dynamics between Hal and her character. Keeping with the hero theme at Comic-Con, a Thor trailer was shown. The only thing that's out right now is an audio clip of the trailer where you can hear interaction between Thor and Jane Foster. Thor is played by Chris Henworth and Jane Foster is played by Natalie Portman, so check that out. On-set photos that have been released. First up is from Arthur. The photos are of Russell Brandt and Jennifer Garner. Um, Jennifer Garner does not play the main love interest, but she does play a love interest to Russell Brandt's character. So check those out. The other photos is from One Day. It's a um, Anne Hathaway film. It's a romantic comedy from what I read. Um, I saw people debating that it's not a romantic comedy, but it is a, a romance. It's about two people who graduated together. I don't know if it's high school or college and they make a pact to meet each other at least once every year and they end up doing this for 20 years. The other set photos that came out is from Pirates of the Caribbean 4 is of Johnny Depp and Penelope Cruz who plays Jack Sparrow's love interest. Finally Jack Sparrow gets a love interest. A new Nicholas Spark book turned into film The Lucky One. It's gonna star Zac Efron and the premise of that film is going to be that Zac Efron is a marine in Iraq and he does three tours and within those three tours he carries a photo of a woman he's never met but he finds that the photo is a good luck charm so after he finishes the three tours he ends up going to North Carolina and goes in search of this woman whose picture he's had for three tours in Iraq Nicholas Spark film is most likely going to be depressing and sad but awesome at the same time. New trailers online. There's one new trailer. It's called Flipped. It's about first love. The premise of the movie is about a boy who moves to this town and he ends up meeting this girl and they grow up together and he ends up falling in love with her. So adorable movie I guess. So check that one out. Movie that's coming out this weekend that has shipperness in it is Charlie St. Cloud. That's the only one. TV news. First up, Vampire Diaries. At Comic-Con, actor Ian Somerhalder, who plays Damon on the Vampire Diaries, was talking about how he's always getting undressed, and then they always have him getting undressed. And then um, Kevin Williamson, who's the creator of the TV series, you know, questioned, hmm, I wonder who else is going to get undressed. And the suggestion of Damon and Elena getting undressed together was brought up and the crowd just went crazy. So I'm going to assume there's a lot of Damon and Elena shippers and maybe Kevin Williamson will take a hint and maybe something will happen in the upcoming season. You never know. Also for Vampire Diaries, there's a teaser trailer of the upcoming season from Comic-Con. Um, it's a little shaky, but you get an idea, like you get the picture of what's going to be happening next season, and it looks amazing and awesome. More TV news from Comic-Con, Smallville. Uh, Smallville news that came out of Comic-Con, that the producers were interviewed, and so was Tom Willing, who's also now a producer of the series. And the mention of Kristen Krug, who played Lana Lang. Lana Lang was Clark Kent's love interest for eight seasons of the series. She was basically the main um, love interest for a very long time for Clark in the series. Anyways, um, the mention of her coming back for the 10th season was brought up and they said that they're trying to bring her back. And Tom Willing said that he would love to have a scene where Lana is on one side and Lois is on another side and they have like an awkward moment together. To me, that sounds like a threesome. I'm just saying. Other TV news is coming from Gleed. Um, the shipperness news, it's spoilerish in a way, I guess you can say, is that Tina is no longer going to be in love with Artie and she's going to start having a thing for Mike. So for you Artie and Tina fans, I'm sorry to say, but your ship is not sailing. And for you Mike and Tina shippers, congratulations because your ship may be going somewhere next season. The other thing that's coming out of Gleed is that the producers want to give Kurt a boyfriend next season 
and they just want to see how that's going to play out. And there's rumors going around that the boyfriend's going to be a jock, but there's also rumors going around that this whole thing about Kirk getting a boyfriend is not going to happen. They're kind of going to tease the whole thing, and then it's going to end up that Kirk doesn't get a boyfriend. I don't know what's going on with that. More TV news, this time from True Blood. The producers of True Blood were talking about um, Snook and Bill's relationship and if Snook would ever like fall out of love with him or whatever and fall for somebody else. But the producers confirmed that Bill is Snook's true love. So for you Snook and Bill shippers, congratulations, nothing's going to happen to your ship. So that's all for today. That's all I have for you guys, shipper-wise, shipper news. Um, I hope you guys like what you saw so far, and, and if not, I'm sorry. Um, please rate a thumbs up, please comment, please favor, and please, please, please subscribe to me. That'll be awesome. Goodbye.